Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel 3D Multimedia. Under the NLP series, today we will perform text pre-processing using NLTK. So what is text pre-processing? It involves tasks such as tokenization, lower casing, removing punctuation, removing stop words, stemming or lemmatization, and handling numerical data. This pre-processing steps are aimed at cleaning and standardizing the text data to make it suitable for analysis. These are the steps involved in text pre-processing. And we will perform all these tasks one by one, like removal of URL, removal of numerical data, removal of punctuation, tokenization, lower casing, removal of stop words, stemming, lemmatization, removal of rare words. So before performing any NLP tasks, we need to install NLTK library by using PIP install NLTK. So now let us import necessary modules like import re so this python module is used for regular expression operations import nltk nltk library a popular python library for natural language processing so let us import word tokenize function from nltk dot tokenize module so this function is used for tokenizing text into words or tokens so let us import stop words from nltk dot corpus so stop words are the words available in the English dictionary. They do not have any significant meaning and if they are removed from the particular sentence, they don't change the meaning of the sentence. Now let us import Potter Stemmer from NLTK.stem module. So this class is widely used for stemming algorithm that reduces words to their base form or root form. Similarly, let us import WordNet lemmatizer from NLTK.stem module. So this class also reduces the particular text to their word or a to a root form. Let's import reg exp tokenizer, that is regular expression tokenizer from nltk.tokenize module. So this class, it provides a way to customize tokenization patterns using regular expressions. So it means it will tokenize the particular uh, sentence based on the regular expression. Let's import the counter from the collection module. So this class is used to count the frequency of words in the text. Once we have imported necessary modules, let us download the NLTK resources. So we will download Punkati. Punkati tokenizer is a pre-trained unsupervised machine learning model available in NLTK and which is used for the pur purpose of tokenization. Let us download stop words. So this will download a list of stop words from various languages so that we can use for purpose of removal of stop words. Let us download WordNet. So this will download the WordNet corpus from the NLTK data repository and can be used for limitation purpose. Now let us provide some sample sentences. So here, here I have listed some sentences which contains numerical data, then punctuation and a URL. So let us now print and check under which data type do they belong to. They belong to the class list. Now let us perform the first task, removal of URL. So now let us come to this for loop. So for sentence in sentences here, uh, we will iterate each sentence from the collection of sentences. So you can see here. So all these sentences, okay, we have saved in the variable called sentences. So we will go through each of sentence one by one and then we will apply the regular expression substring towards this particular regular expression and we want it to be replaced with the empty string or no value. So once the substring has been replaced by the empty string that is in a particular sentence if there is any URL belonging to HTTP so that will be replaced with the empty string. So for example this particular uh, URL will be replaced as an empty string and then this will be saved under removal underscore URLs variable. So now let us come to this for loop. This for loop will iterate each of the sentences in this particular variable and will print the sentence. So now you can see here in this particular sentence like you can purchase it on the particular URL has been removed. So to verify you can see it here this sentence this has been completely removed. So now let us perform removal of numerical data. So here we will consider the regular expression substring that we want to replace this slash d plus that is nothing but it matches any numerical digits from 0 to 9 and that has to be replaced by the empty string and that has to be stored under removal underscore numbers. So here this for loop will iterate each of the sentences under the variable removal underscore url and then it will start replacing the digits one by one to an empty string so which we will be saving it under removal underscore numbers and we will print each of the sentences so now you can see here this four number is so here the numbers and has been removed and the product cost of dollar the num numerical data has been removed so now let us perform removal of punctuation we will iterate 
each of the sentence under the variable remove underscore number and then we will consider the regular expression in the list cap slash w clash slash s is nothing but which matches any character that is not a word character or white space character effectively matching the punctuation marks so wherever you find they say punctuation marks so that will be replaced by the empty string and it has to be stored under the variable remove underscore punctuation come to this for loop this for loop will iterate each of the sentences in this particular variable and it will print one by one so now you can see here this phone number which was previously having the punctuation like bracket and plus close bracket has been removed here similarly other punctuations has been removed in this particular sentence now let us perform tokenization in tokenization let us use this regular expression tokenizer we know that it's a class which is used to tokenize the text based on the regular expression okay so we have a raw string here slash w plus so slash w is nothing but it's a special sequence in regular expression that matches any alpha numeric character so that includes letters digits or underscore so if a sentence has this letters digits or underscore that will be considered as a separate entity and it has to be tokenized and that has to be saved under tokenizer let us assign an empty list to the tokenized underscore sentence variable so once this sentence has been executed once you print it you will get the output as the tokenization but to make it more simpler i am using this particular line of codes so i am assigning an empty list towards the tokenized sentences and then i will iterate each of the sentence one by one from the remove underscore punctuation so now we will tokenize the current sentence it means once we and we have entered into the for loop so here you will be having around six sentences right so we'll be going into the first sentence and we will first tokenize that we'll break down the particular sentence into words okay and then we will store that into the empty list by using append tokens and then we will iterate to the next sentence in, th in this particular list and again we will tokenize it and then we will append it to the tokenize underscore sentence okay so similarly we will do for the third fourth fifth and sixth and we will print the tokens now so now the whole sentence has been broken down or has been tokenized like this so now let me apply lower casing towards this uh, tokenized words so i'm going to assign an empty list towards this variable lowercase underscore sentences and for each tokens inside this particular tokenized sentences i'm going to convert them to lower case okay and once each of the words in this in this particular sentences has been converted lower case i'm going to append it to the empty list so you can see here so all the sentences which were in the upper case has been converted into lower case before performing the removal of stop words so let us first print the file ids inside the stop words so these are the languages available inside our stop words or let us take an example like german and let us see what are the stop words available so these are the stop words available in this german dictionary now let me let us print the stop words under english dictionary okay so these are the collections of words under this english dictionary and now we will remove the stop words based on the sentence which we have so first we have to set the stop words from the english dictionary and save it to the variable stop words let us initialize the empty list towards this filtered sentences so for words in lower case sentences okay so here we will iterate each words from this particular given sentence and then so now each word will be checked under this particular words list okay if the word is not in the stop words then it will be appended towards this empty list for example uh, let us consider a word like the if the is available in that particular sentence then actually it belongs to stop words so it will it will it has to be removed so for if there is any word like cycle okay and if that is not under stop words then only we have to append it towards this empty list let us now print and check what are the stop words that has been removed so you can see here so in this sentence 
Let's go to the previous one and check. So here you had the conference starts at and after the removal of stop words, you can just check. Okay, the has been removed from the sentence and at has been removed because they belong to the stop words under this collection. Let us now apply the stemming process. Okay, assign Porter stemmer function to the Porter. So this particular function creates an instance of the Porter stemmer algorithm, which can then be used to stem the words. Let us initialize the empty list to the stemmed underscore sentences. Let us come to this for loop. This for loop will iterate each words under the filter underscore sentence list. And then it will start stemming those words one by one. So that is, it will iterate through each list of words in the filtered sentences. Okay. Then it will apply stemming to each word in the current list of words. Okay. Now let us print the stemmed sentences. So you can see here this the word conference has been stemmed to its base word or base root as confer. So uh, the word weather has been also stemmed to the base root as weather. So here some some words will not be completed like instead of conference you have confer because that is the base root in this particular stemming process. But if you want to get a perfect um, word then you can apply lemmatization. So here we use word net lemmatizer function and assign it to lemmatizer here. This initializes a word net lemmatizer object to lemmatize words using the word net lemmatizer algorithm. Okay. Let us come to this for loop. For each word in this filtered sentences list, the word will be lemmatized one by one. So it will iterate through each list of words in this filtered sentences and will apply lemmatization to each word in this current list of words. Then we will print each words one by one. So you, here you can see the word conference has been lemmatized to its base root conference itself. Now let us come to the removal of rare words. Okay, let us come to this for loop. This for loop will iterate sentences inside the lemmatized underscore sentences. So there will be six sentences, right? So it will go to the first sentence and then it will count the words in that sentence. So creating a counter object that counts the occurrence of each word in this lemmatized sentences. Then we will define a threshold here as one. So let us now come to the for loop. Okay. So this for loop will iterate each of the words inside this lemmatized sentences. Okay. And now this for loop will iterate again each of the word inside this word list, which we got it from here. Okay. And if that word occurs once or twice, that will be counted and it will be checked with this condition. If that word is less than or equal to this frequency threshold, then it will be taken into account. If this word is greater, that is the word count is greater than the threshold then that will be discarded. So if the threshold value here we have mentioned as one, if it's less than one or equal to one, the, those words will be uh, taken into account and the other words will be ignored. So let us see the output now. So those words which appeared only once and which satisfied this condition along with its frequency threshold were printed. Those words which were uh, which didn't satisfy this condition were not printed. So for example, let's see the previous code. So you can see here the word conference appears in the first sentence of this list and appears also appears at the last sentence. Okay. So this occurrence is twice now. So this particular word will be discarded from this particular rare words. So, so because it appears many times, those words are rare will be displayed here. Okay. So we are done with the text pre-processing using NLTK. If you have liked this video, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel 3D Multimedia. Thank you.